Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom frame with a border for Canva using Photoshop. First off, let's go ahead and create a new document. So I'm going to go just to new file here. Go ahead and pick your dimensions. Uh, for this, I'm going to use 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. And then I'm going to have artboard selected um, because I'm going to export this as a PDF to work with Canva. And then I'm just going to leave my color mode to RGB color, background content set to transparent, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. When you create a custom frame in Photoshop that you want to use in Canva, you need to work with a, a shape layer. Photoshop is a raster based program, but their shapes within Photoshop are um, vector based, meaning they can be scaled. Um, but when you actually go to export it, it will create a raster image. And so when you are creating a custom shape, you want to make sure that you are, you want to make sure you are working with a shape layer. So I'm going to go to my tools here and I'm just going to create a simple layer here and I'm going to create a polygon. Uh, let's just look, at, we'll go six sides here and then I'm just going to click and drag, drag it here. Um, holding shift, I'm just going to make it bigger here. And then we'll access the move tool V here just to center it on my canvas. And so right now I have a shape layer. In order to make this a frame for Canva, you need to bring in a image into Photoshop. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and then I'm going to just select a image that I um, got from unsplash.com, and I'm just going to place it here. I'm going to uh, stretch it here so it um, covers my uh, shape here. And then with this layer, I'm going to right click and go to uh, Create Clipping Mask. For this, we do want a border. So on this um, shape layer here, I'm going to click on this shape tool here, which will bring up my fill and my stroke. I'm going to add a stroke. So let's just pick a color here. I've got blue. Um, let's make it bigger. Let's go 100 pixels so we can see it. And then I'm just going to slice that down here again, holding shift. Selecting both layers here, I'm just going to drag it here to the center one more time. Okay. So we have a shape with a um, image that we have created a clipping mask with, and then we've also given it a border color here by using the stroke for that shape. So now I'm going to export it. I'm going to go to File, Export. Um, because this is an artboard, I'm going to go Artboards to PDF. And then you can select your destination and give it a name. Here we'll go Frame with Border. I have artboards content only selected and then I'm just going to click on run and then Photoshop will give you this uh, message artboards to the PDF was successful and then we can go ahead and click on OK and then let's go ahead and bring up Canva. In Canva here I'm going to select projects and then I'm going to click to add a new project and then I'm just going to click to upload my document. So I'll select my .pdf document here, frame with border, I'm going to click on open. And then once it's been uploaded, I will just click on that document here. So we have our border and we have our picture. So I'm going to go to elements and then I'm just going to let's search for an image. Let's go B since we have a honeycomb shape here. We'll look at our photos. Um, let's bring in this picture here. So if I drag it in here, what you notice is it's not letting me add it to the actual shape here, but it's actually be being added to the frame. And so if we click on this here and we click on position, we will see our layers here. We'll select our layers here. What actually happened is um, from bringing our document into Photoshop is we have basically two layers that you can add a frame to. We have our outside frame and then we have our original one here. So if I select that one, and go back to elements and say I drag my image in, it still won't let me add it to that initial. And what you have to do is you need to reposition uh, your layers here. So if you want to add something to this um, hexagon here, I'm going to need to bring it to the top before I can add a new photo to it. 
you can add a photo directly or you can right click and you can click detach image. So if we just delete that one here, we can now see that it's a frame, but we'll add in our B image here, dragging it there. And we have our um, B image. We'll click on it again. Let's go back to our position. Uh, we can drag this one back. And then um, right now this um, border um, currently has a image in it. Um, you could choose to do, maybe you wanna add um, like a gold, gold foil background. Um, you can drag that and it can create kind of a fun border there. Um, or you can select an actual um, color. So let's select um, maybe one of these gold colors. So this is a fun way to create a custom shape for Canva with a border using Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a custom frame with a border in Canva using Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.